Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get solid state performance, and even better than solid state performance, without having a solid state drive. So, in this example, I'm not going to be using my solid state drive at all. Notice how it is the C drive. So, everything else I'm going to be doing on uh, my F drive, which is actually like an 8 year old hard drive, so it is extremely slow. It has a max uh, read and write speed of maybe 70 megs per second. You know, um, most newer hard drives, they have more like uh, 100 to 150 megs per second. So this will be a lot slower, but um, it should give you an idea of the pers of the worst possible possible speed that you'll be getting So uh, for this method. And as you can guess, can guess I'm going to be using uh, RAM disks to speed everything up, or sort of, in a sense, preload all of the files. Um, the program I'm going to be using is uh, imdisk. Just go and Google imdisk, and the top result is what you need. Um, virtual driver, current stable version, that sort of thing, and it, it installs fairly fast. After it's installed, it'll be in your control panel. You can just search for it and open it up. Uh, next, I've already got an image file created. It's not hard to create an image file of... Uh, you know, whatever. Um, I have been played around with it. Doesn't seem like there's any real uh, selection for the different file types. So um, you may be able to use VHDs, in which case you can just uh, create the images through Windows fairly easily. But uh, I did it through by making a new image, and why not? Anyway, uh, while you're mounting it on, make sure you click Copy Image to File to Memory. And uh, I'm going to make that removable media because for some odd reason, uh, Windows on Windows 8 it seems to have a little bit of trouble when you don't have the hot plug features in. So uh, press OK, and it's going to start loading up um, everything into the RAM. <sighs> oh, weird doesn't show up in the task manager here but we have the disk all active and whatnot um, oh there it goes so there's 4.2 gigs it's uh, going up in big chunks with loading so um, this is 13 gigs so it'll be a little while um, there's a little time here should have probably opened up like a stopwatch or something <laughs> da, 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 da. Got the disc here. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see the crap. Uh, open up full screen. Well, because it's a driver, I'm assuming that's it's not showing up here. Um, the actual speeds versus as if you were to transfer the files over for Windows, so um, that is the advantage of a driver. Also the disadvantage, you don't get to see what the hell is going on. Uh, there we are, so we got the system memory finally popping up up top, and there is the disk. I'm hoping it's loading at that speed, it's pretty high speed for that drive, but it doesn't look like it. And yeah, my voice is all screwed up right now because I've got a cold. So, just an FYI, I don't know, don't normally sound like this. Uh, eight gigs, almost there. You know, it's taking two minutes or so right now to load up. Probably four or five minutes. It is a lot to load up. There are also other alternatives to using uh, these RAM disks and whatnot. Um, as you can see, I'm loading up the entire game into my memory. What you can do is you can sort of uh, cache certain files. I'm, I haven't looked up to the programs, but I'm sure you can Google a little bit and find it. But um, you can cache specific files like textures in the game folder so that whenever uh, the OS goes to 
load up those texture files it'll load it directly from the RAM and then the rest will load from the hard drive so it's sort of in a sense a raid <clears throat> Almost there, just like one more gig to go. There we go. So it's all loaded, um, and it should be showing up here on my computer. So we have removable, removable to this K. Let's start up StarCraft. Now, my CPU is a little bit slow. It's only a third gen i5, and it's very low end because at the time, you know, it's like the only one they had to release, so. But, you know, it's good enough for me. So, the majority of this is just all CPU usage. Like, yeah, it still loads pretty fast. Um, let's go to performance here and we can, no, it doesn't want to show this K in there, but there's our memory usage. And it does self-manage itself, so over time the memory usage may go down for the disk. It's just caching a little bit, but, you know, you still get good performance. And uh, yeah, let's try doing a game, the campaign. I have not played the campaign at all. Uh, challenge missions. I don't know, let's go with this one. So there it goes, loading, loading, loading. And right now the bottleneck is just the CPU, so there you go. And let's go back to the memory and, you know, pretty good so anyways this is hot new peer you guys can come check out my blog at hotnew.com and uh, i'll see you guys later